everyone thank you so much for watching today my name is savannah welcome back to the channel and if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by we are back in tolly zoo which is our franchise zoo uh getting up to some fixes today so in our last episode we installed this enclosure for our jaguar we have one female jaguar right there somewhere there she is and I today want to basically jump into a time lapse straight away. I'm gonna go ahead and check and see what our vet research was. Aardvarks and Jaguar, nice, perfect. Let's see if there's anything over here. Nope. So like I mentioned in the last episode, I kind of want to jump straight into a time lapse today and get a lot of this kind of figured out, finished up and nice and pretty because today, the day I'm recording actually, so yesterday, if you're watching this when this goes live, they announced a new DLC pack, a new animal pack, and we're getting eight new animals, and I am super, super excited. And the very first one we are going to put in this zoo here is going to be the Clouded Leopard. And I thought, what better area than to kind of integrate it into this enclosure here. Now, since we don't have the animal in the game just yet, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of uh, outline where I think they would go best and and like I said fix up put a roof here roof here roof over there We're just missing roofs all around. We just need to make sure that we get roofs on everything um, So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump into it uh, right now All right guys, so this time lapse was actually fairly productive pretty happy with what we got done So we're starting off with preparing for our clouded leopard exhibit because as soon as that DLC comes out that is the first animal we are putting in this zoo, uh, or I guess the next animal that we're putting in this zoo, because I am so excited, so excited to put the clouded leopard in and uh, get them to be a part of Tully Zoo. So that's what we're doing here. We're making kind of like a conjoined, um, like a cat house kind of area where they, they have separate enclosures, but it's kind of the same building, part of the same enclosure, kind of, sorta. So that's what we're starting off with. Um, you may have heard me say the, the incorrect dates uh, in the first part of this episode because I actually filmed this whole thing and then um, ran out of time to do the voiceover, put it all together and had to delay it by a week. So I'm so sorry about that. I know I get a lot of, of comments and disappointment when I do have to postpone a Franchise Friday episode. So I do apologize. It was a massively crazy week and I'm actually working on a couple things behind the scenes that I hope you'll be very, very excited about that are kind of coming to a finish right now. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to see what I've been working on very, very soon. But long story short, I just wasn't able to make it happen last week and I had every intention of getting this out on like a Saturday or a Sunday, um, but it just didn't happen. It, it just wasn't in the cards for last week. So unfortunately, that's why it was delayed. But thank you guys so much for being understanding, um, but it still makes me smile to know that, that you guys look forward to these episodes so much. So hopefully you're happy with what we get done today. It is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode in terms of overall length. Um, um, and mostly just because the week was a time crunch um, and that most of it was a, a time lapse. So I actually did uh, quite a lot of work um, to squeeze into about a 30 minute episode. So again, I hope you guys are, are really happy with it. I'm pretty excited about uh, the DLC that's coming out. So let me know uh, after the Clouded Leopard, what other animal do you think that we should put into Tully Zoo? I don't really envision us doing a super themed area like a Southeast Asia with all the East Asia pieces in the zoo. I just kind of don't see us doing that with an under budget tropical zoo that, that Tali Zoo is. I just don't see it quite fitting, but we certainly can take some aspects and do some light theming in a certain area, but I still want to utilize a lot of the new animals because I'm super excited to see them all in the game. And this time around, you know, having uh, eight of them to incorporate, including the, the giant leaf insect, but that's going to be an easy one, right? Because we're just going to click and put that one down. So having seven uh, habitat animals to kind of play around with and look at. Let me know after the clouded leopard, because I've already made that choice for us because I'm so excited, uh, what animal you think would fit best in Tali Zoo. I'll be curious to hear what you guys think. Um, other than that, I, I don't have too much for you. So I, I am going to leave you with the speed build, uh, most of it to watch on your own. And then we'll come back at the very end and get our little jaguar all 
all kind of set up and um, happy in her enclosure. We have a little bit of an issue with her being able to escape. So we do some slight fixes, but we'll, we'll need to continue to fix it uh, from there. But um, yeah, oh, and the last thing, uh, you know, like I said, I did want to get roofs on a lot of these buildings. And so I do spend a lot of time on this Cayman house, uh, getting them uh, a roof and, and actually making it look like a fully enclosed building. I end up incorporating some uh, sunroofs in there, like a, a glass portion. So that way we can kind of sort of still see in from the overhead view. Hopefully it doesn't get in our way too, too much while we're playing. And that way, you know, we'll have to kind of sink through the roof in order to click on the animals and stuff like that but hopefully it doesn't get too too in the way because I I do like how it turns out using this corrugated metal roof I felt fits Tolly's theme uh quite nicely and just kind of imagining like from the ground guests don't normally see the tops of the roofs so you know not making them quite as pretty or stylized or or whatever I just don't think is a, a huge necessity for this type of zoo so we do do some trimming like you kind of see here but for the most part it's very straightforward basic simple roof putting a roof on this one was a little bit difficult because uh, of the shape of the building but I think we make it work overall so anyway with that I do mean at this time I have got to get going it's actually fairly late and I'm still running behind uh, it's just one of those weeks where I just felt like I could never get ahead on any task that I was trying to accomplish um, and I do want to get some sleep tonight so with that uh, we actually will be streaming this coming Sunday at our normal time 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the morning Pacific Standard Time so if you guys want to stop by we'll be streaming this Sunday um, trying to increase the stream schedule just a little bit so hope you guys can join me and we will have some fun on Sunday morning so yeah with that I will leave you with the rest of the speed build um there's just five or six minutes left or so i think um and then the rest of the episode so really hope you guys enjoy and i will i will talk to you in just a little bit when we bounce back to real time savannah thanks guys <laughs>
right, so fairly happy with what we got done in that time lapse. We do have a roof here, roof here, roof here. I kind of, you know, gave up before we got to over there, but at least we have this area looking a little bit nicer. And I'm sure I'm gonna talk about it a little in the time lapse, but that way we have a little area set up here for our clouded leopard. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do here before the episode is over is I want to, actually, let me check and see what this is. Okay, I want to do a little bit more climbing for our leopard, uh, or not our leopard, our jaguar. Um, so clouded leopard over there, jaguar over here. And did we didn't put down any bedding for sleeping here, did we? Or I might've gotten rid of it because that's what this is in here. So let's just go ahead and see if we can't put just a little bit of sleeping stuff in here for them to, for, or for her rather, to lay on. And let's double check the traversable area because I do want to make sure she can get in there. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, oh, let's see, habitat, great. And okay, good, she can get in there, but why now, this is a problem. Why now all of a sudden is this escapable? That's a bummer. Let's see, let's see about moving this back a little bit because it wasn't, uh oh, hold on, pause. <laughs> I don't want her to escape right away. Uh, let's go ahead and back this up just a bit and see if that helps it at all. Uh, not the rocks, cause that's a bummer. It looked so nice before. And now, yeah, see, we're still escaping. Why? Oh. Is it because they, she can climb this right here? Let's see, let's take the habitat here. Uh, no, I wanna go to barriers. We wanna edit this one, cause this one needs to be brought back anyway, because I know she can escape there, but it's because the, the barrier is not um, in the correct place. Let's see if we delete, cause this is all wood. If we delete that, I know she's gonna be able to escape, but let's see if she can't, uh, still can climb if that made a difference. <clears throat> Wait for it to update again. Yeah, see, she can still climb, so why? That's a bummer, so I'm gonna have to keep it paused and I might have to figure that out a little bit later. Cause let, well, let's just see if we do this and we pull this way back out of the way. Let's see if it is in fact that, or if she's, like I said, climbing up or onto something here. Where'd she go? There she is. Let's see now. Play. Cause yeah, I really do want it to keep like the old school style of that. See, she can still escape. So it, it has to, oh, you know what? It's this. Aha, it's this does not have the, um, the anti-climbing thing on it. Let's hope, is that it? Did we figure it out? Where'd she go? There she is. No? No? Let's see. Let's get rid of that again. See if that helps at all. Yeah, okay. So see, okay, she can't climb up there now. So we should be able to... Hold on, pause. Let's go ahead and bring this back up against... Because I didn't really add anything um, on the other side of the the fence, so I'd be a little bit surprised if that was it. So put that there, and let's just temporarily, let's, um, let's just temporarily do this kind of thing, um, right here, so that it's just blocked off. Why this is being so difficult here, because <laughs> I'm looking at it the wrong way, that's probably why. There we go. So then let's see this as testing. If this works, then we know we're in the clear. And hit play. Let it update a little bit. Okay, awesome. So yeah, that was it. And did I move some of the... Oh, for some reason you can climb this. That's okay, I'm not, a, I'm not attached to that tree. <laughs> that tree can go. Okay. All right, all contained, great. So what I wanted to do was a little bit more climbing and I kind of had an idea about doing like a little catwalk thing, although now I'm a little afraid that it may not work because I wanted to, 
I guess we might be able to continue it down there, but essentially what I wanted to do is if we go to habitat here and we do go to the climbing stuff, can she walk on this? I hope she can. But if we kind of take this and make a little like catwalk area is I kind of wanted her to climb up and eventually take this to the other side so that she can um, like get close to the guests and stuff. So if we do that into a big platform for her to walk on, we can also put some bedding up there that she might like to lay on. But um, I'm not gonna touch the clouded leopard habitat anymore today because I wanna leave that one for when, when the update actually, the DLC does actually come out um, on the 30th so that we can actually get, get them in and, and see what their needs are and stuff like that. But I did wanna get the outline of the enclosure done um, so that we know, we know where they're going because I'm super excited for them. I cannot wait. Uh-oh, we have, why do we have protesters? Wait, wait, pause. Uh, expecting offspring. Um, inspector. Oh, they probably just had more babies, huh? God, they freak out so fast. <laughs> they go from like zero to 60 and get really upset. Oh, okay. Well, there's just two of them. Why are we freaking out then? You guys, are there more of you? Let's see. No, there's just two of you. What's your issue? Why'd you freak out all of a sudden? If we go to animals and we go to welfare, are, are these guys attracting protesters? You, where are you? Exhibit one. Why are you so upset, Tanner? What's your problem? Oh, okay. You need water or your water's dirty? Because I kind of see a whole lot of water in your tank right now. So let's call a keeper over there. And then while we're at it, I saw... Are you guys stressed again? That might be what we do in the next couple episodes too, thinking about it, is we might... I might move these guys to a different location and replace them something else here that's not quite as finicky. Because um, they just seem to get really stressed really fast. And I really... I really don't want to have it all covered in glass like it is now. I wanted it to be open. Let's see, what's this? Vet research is always good. We got more aardvark stuff. Sweet. Okay, so back over here. We want to complete a little bit of a catwalk area. So if we do this, let's make sure we have snapping on. I'm going to leave it paused just so we're not, we're not bothered. We're not bothered by that game stuff, you know, this the stupid stuff that takes up a lot of time. Um, we'll raise it up just a little bit. Of course, we'll put supports on this, but I'm just kind of roughly kind of sketching out what I want it to be like. And I'm thinking, actually, in fact, what we might do is take these two and make them not at a 90 degree angle. We might just go off of the corner from here. And that way it goes goes to the other part of the fence that's a little bit tall because I'm afraid to go over to this fence because I don't want her to be able to jump up onto here. But if we do that and then do this again, uh, I'm trying to decide if that looks cool or not. Yeah, we can do that, why not? And then yeah, we can eventually take it to run along here. So like people that are walking right here can see her kind of climb, right? So let's put some supports on this so it doesn't look quite so weird. Um, let's do this. In fact, actually, let's just do this kind of thing and we'll, whoops, we'll lower it, lower it all at once. But we'll put one there, we'll put one here and here, and then we'll do, we'll do here and then we'll do right, hmm there I guess the problem is is I don't want I want her to still be able to walk over these right so I guess we'll just have to do a little bit of testing and see if she can still get if this is a, a thick enough walkway but we could also just take this and scooch it over a little bit right we could make it just a little bit wider I know we could do it with less pieces but these ones are already here and I don't feel like replacing it all yeah if we do that and she has a little bit little bit more room to walk on it. So if we take all of these pieces 
and we push them down so that they are the correct height. That doesn't look half bad, right? Uh, we'll leave that one there. We'll just lower this one just a little bit more like so and then if we duplicate these now she should have enough room to walk in between i hope i'll be interested to see what the traversable area for the clouded leopard is as well um because they're much smaller than the jaguar so i really hope that they're able to traverse a little bit more skinny of an area there you are well that's right get out of my my build group here and let's go one more time to the map hit play and let's see if she is able to, yeah, okay. She's So she's actually able to get up there. I guess she, cause she can climb these poles, huh? Get all the way over there, but that's awesome. Okay, so she can use that. Let's make sure her climbing area is now fulfilled. So we don't quite have to worry so much about completing that right away because it is, it is fulfilled now. So at least she'll be happy. And now it's just like an aesthetics thing. Now we just wanna make it look nice drop that but yeah so if, if we can imagine she can walk all the way over there and then we'll have her walk down um, along this fence here we'll do lots of rock work and stuff I think that'll look really really good let's see what this alert is you're hungry I might have to get another keeper even though I just updated oh keeper in route okay great I know they're coming where are they I don't see them as of yet, but they should be here any second now because we have a keeper in route. So hopefully, hopefully they'll get here. Let's check and see how's our money doing because we were kind of struggling. We're doing okay. We're still in the green. That's great. Awesome. That's what we want to see. Well, perfect. So, um, yeah, guys, that's about it for today. Uh, we got, we got a lot done. <clears throat> Excuse me as I have something in my throat. Uh, we have gotten a lot done. Obviously we have a roof on here. This is where our little clouded leopards will go. Um, look for that uh, in the, the next episode now because I was a little late on getting this one out. Um, so next episode, I, I think if I'm looking at my dates right, we should be able to put our clouded leopard in there and get them all situated. Super excited for that. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And uh, until next time, I'll talk at you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.